Nick, the Atlanta Falcons, big game against a big time defense and a Browns team that, quite frankly, coming into the seat, uh, this game was two and one. They've been playing pretty competently with Jacoby Brissett as the quarterback, monster rushing attack for the Browns on deck. But the Falcons stepped up like the Falcons have been doing this season so far, and they get the big time win 23 20 win over the Cleveland Browns. Uh, there's a lot to break down in this game. Uh, I think the Falcons rushing attack was phenomenal as well. There's some other keys to why that was the case. Uh, and we're going to get into that. But Falcons fans, we got to know in the comments below, let us know who was your MVP of the game. I think uh, it, there's pretty obvious answers on there, but I want to know uh, who do you think was the MVP of this game, this big time Falcons win over the Browns. But Nick, what do you got? So when I look at this Atlanta Falcons team, and we've talked about them before, it's all about the playmakers, Kyle Pitts, Cordero Patterson, Drake London, right? That's kind of the core group of how this team is supposed to work. We don't really talk about their big guys up front, their offensive line that much. In fact, a lot of people believe that's a weakness on this roster. But they came out against the Cleveland Browns. Granted, Garrett didn't play. But this is still a very talented Cleveland Browns front seven. And they physically dominated the Cleveland Browns. I was very impressed by this Falcons offensive line. The Falcons ran for 202 yards on 35 carries with two scores. Mariota was only sacked one time. So they basically leaned on that running game and that offensive line to carry this offense. And in the end, it worked out great, especially in the fourth quarter. Miles, what all these talking heads say all the time is that late in games, that's when your offensive line takes over if you've got a good group. Well, this Falcons group, on their last three possessions of the game when they were trying to score, they went touchdown, field goal, field goal. I'm going to discount the very last, you know, I think there's a, a, a end of game situation in there that I'm not going to count. But the last three drives where the game was still in doubt, they uh, drove down the field, three long drives, 60 plus yards, leaning on this offensive line. So that's my MVP. And that's that level of improvement from that group up front is a great sign for this Falcons team. Yeah, if you look uh, through the O-line, obviously Chris, uh, Chris Lindstrom has been phenomenal this season. He's been one of the best guards in the NFL. Uh, Jake Matthews, this is a, a longtime veteran with the team, has been playing pretty good. And also Caleb McGarry, a guy uh, back, drafted back in 2019, has looked pretty good. But let's look a little bit more into the running game, Nick. I think there are some kind of like hidden stars in this running game. Obviously, you have your superstar, uh, any position player, Cordero Patterson. And although he did score, uh, he was kind of spelled in this game by a couple of other young guys. Uh, you got Tyler Algier. I think that's how you spell pronounce his name. And then you had Huntley as well. Both of these guys uh, had a pretty big day on the ground. And when you have uh, over 200 rushing yards in total uh, against this stout Browns front seven, that's that's something to talk about for the big guys up front. That's where you got to give them these props. Uh, you can have two young rookies come in, uh, lead your rushing attack. You don't have to, you know, wear Cordero Patterson down. He's getting a little bit older, but he's still very dynamic. But the ability, to know you have the ability to spell him with some of these younger guys has to make you feel good as a Falcons fan. Has to make you feel good for the future when you can have these young guys step up and produce in your rushing attack, don't you think? Yeah, especially since Patterson was kind of nursing an injury. There was some question of whether or not he even if he would even play against the Cleveland Browns. And obviously he played, but he was limited to your point. But one of the hidden stats I think that really points to this dominant group of, up front by the Atlanta Falcons is that normally when a team has a huge running day, you know, maybe the quarterback had some scrambles or some zone read, right? The Eagles kind of have that effect. The Ravens have that kind of effect. Marcus Mariota had three total rushing yards today. So this wasn't bootlegs. This wasn't quarterback scrambles. This was those big guys up front and those young running backs putting the game on their shoulders and physically dominating and that's not something we've seen from the Atlanta Falcons or expected and if that trend can can continue and you have these playmakers the Pitts, the Londons Mariota you know hopefully plays a little bit better than he did today but this team kind of building in the right direction this is actually we talked about them being a really good offense this has the pieces in place to be a great offense the rest of the year and and I'll correct myself Huntley is a second year guy he didn't really play too much his first year but Huntley is second year guy Algiers, the the rookie from BYU. Uh, but overall, the defense didn't do too bad either. Uh, they were able to kind of spell. The, and I mean, when you look at it, okay, Nick Chubb and 118 rushing yards. But when you can, this is a team where Hunt and Chubb are likely to go for 100, 150 yards apiece. Uh, you, you slowed them down some, uh, you know, stop Brissett from making any uh, big time uh, touchdowns through the air or anything like that. 
And a guy that everyone's been talking about all season for the Falcons, once again, uh, stepped up Grady Jarrett, big time uh, D lineman for the Falcons, had a big sack, a couple big tackles. He, he had a pretty good game, some clutch moments as well. But the young guy, Grant, uh, I think he's back at the safety position. He looked pretty good today as well. He was all over the field making a lot of tackles. So it is a good day, both sides of the ball, uh, and get a tough, tough win uh, against the Cleveland Browns. I think as a Falcon fan, you walk away to this game with a little bit more confidence. Uh, you're happy going forward knowing that, okay, we've we've been gaining some momentum. The Offensively, we're winning tough games, but we've also been a little bit of a wagon lately. We've been able to put up a lot of points. So it's nice to go into these tough games and uh, eat a good win out.